A lot of us have been told that the casino is rigged. Vegas always wins long term, and that's not entirely true, but it certainly feels that way sometimes. So I recently signed up for Bet365, and I was making pretty good profits off this sports book until I got this email right here. So not a fun email to wake up to. You can read through the whole thing and pause the video, but it basically just says we're restricting your wagers and you're done. Now it's not just Bet365. I've gotten similar emails from other sports books. The truth is sports books, they don't like when you beat them using math. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to get banned from sports books using mathematics. What? And I know that doesn't sound particularly good, but the truth is, is regardless of how you're winning on a sports book, even if you can just watch a game and know what's going to happen and win your bets that way, the truth of the matter is sports books don't like winners. So if you're consistently winning, if you're a profitable sports better, some books, they're going to cut you off. They're going to restrict your wagers, but it's not all bad because you have to remember you're going to make money along the way. So at this point, I am heavily limited on a sports book called DraftKings, which is a very big sports book in the United States, but not before I made over $200,000 on this sports book. So now they've decided to limit me, but I was still able to take advantage of a lot of profitable bets on this sports book. So let's get into this strategy, and it's going to require a little bit of mathematics, but this is how you make money sports betting. So I know I said earlier, Vegas is rigged, the casinos always win, and that is true for 99% of people, right? It is completely true. But for the 1% who understand the mathematics behind sports betting, it is absolutely possible to consistently make money and grow your bankroll. So let's get into this strategy. First things first, we need to study the enemy. And what I mean by that is we need to go through how do sports books work, right? How do sports books try to make money? The point of this video is we're going through a mathematical betting strategy that's going to give you a leg up on the books and help you make money long term. So we have to start out by understanding the sports books. And the way that every single sports book or bookmaker makes money is by charging a hidden tax. Tax six, nine. A hidden tax, which is called the vig or the vigorish. So I'm going to go through an example on DraftKings Sportsbook right here. You can see in the Braves Twins game, the over eight and a half runs is priced at minus 110. And so is the under eight and a half runs. And it may be a little confusing right now, but I'm going to explain it in like 20 seconds. This is exactly how sportsbooks make a ton of money. This is exactly why DraftKings is a billion dollar company is by charging minus 110, minus 110 odds. So I know this may be a little boring, but I promise you understanding how this secret tax on sports books works, the vig or the vigorish will help you make a lot of money sports betting. So look at this Twins Braves game. Both the over eight and a half runs right here and the under are at minus 110 odds. So these are equal and opposite outcomes, right? So let's imagine there are two customers on DraftKings one customer bets the over eight and a half runs at minus 110 odds, and they put 110 bucks on it. And then imagine another customer bets the under, and he also bets 110 bucks. And what we're going to do is I'm going to show you that the bookmaker in both scenarios will make a profit of $10. So let's imagine there's over eight and a half runs in the game. That first customer bet 110 bucks at minus 110 odds. So he's gonna profit 100 bucks, he or she. On the other hand, the customer who bet the under for 110 bucks is gonna lose 110 bucks. So you're gonna see the sports book makes $10 total. It pays out $100 to the customer who had the over and it gains $110 in profit from the customer who took the under. And then if you flip it around and the under wins and not the over, you're gonna see the sports book still makes $10. So basically, the sports book makes money no matter what if an equal amount of money comes in on both the over and the under. That is how the vig or the vigorish works. So you may be thinking like, okay, DraftKings Sportsbook makes money by charging a spread. 
We do not care. Right, but that doesn't explain how do you make money off DraftKings Sportsbook, and that's what we're gonna be going through next. And really the key you need to understand for why you can make money sports betting relatively easily, the reason it's so accessible, is every single sports book, FanDuel, DraftKings, they all want to be unique. So every sports book sets lines independently. They all have different odds from one another. So just because the over and the eight and a half on DraftKings were at minus 110 odds, that's not the same odds on other sports books. So this mathematical betting strategy is based on the fact that sportsbooks have different odds from one another, and sometimes their models get so out of sync that you can place bets on equal and opposite outcomes on two different sportsbooks in order to guarantee yourself a risk-free profit. So we're gonna go through this example right here. You can see the Giants are plus 105 odds on Pinnacle, and their opponent, the Cowboys, are plus 105 odds on DraftKings. So I'm gonna show you how you can guarantee a risk-free profit based on this massive divergence in sportsbook odds. So back to the boring, boring little spreadsheet, but it's gonna make you money. So you're gonna see the Giants are plus 105 odds on Pinnacle. Bet $100 on it. The Cowboys on a different sports book, because sports books have different odds, are plus 105 odds. Bet 100 bucks on it. So these are equal and opposite outcomes, right? Either the Giants win the game or the Cowboys win the game, and we're putting $100 on both bets. So now let's go through our profit and loss. So if the Giants win, we bet 100 bucks at plus 105 odds on Pinnacle. So we're gonna be up $105 on Pinnacle, right? Now, on the other hand, on DraftKings, if the Giants win this game, you're down 100 bucks. You bet $100 on DraftKings. So your profit is $5. Now let's take the opposite scenario. If the Cowboys win, you're down 100 bucks with your bet of $100 on the Giants at plus 105 on Pinnacle, but you're up 105 bucks on DraftKings. You bet $100 at plus 105 odds. So in both scenarios, you guaranteed yourself a risk-free profit of $5. You don't care about the outcome. You don't care if the Giants win by 20 or the Cowboys win by one. In any case, you make a risk-free $5, and that is the power of understanding mathematics and sports betting. So a question that you may be wondering, and it's what I wondered when I started arbitrage betting and making money, is how does arbitrage exist? How are sports books screwing up this big? And what you have to remember is these sports books have hundreds of thousands of odds on their platform at any given time to manage, right? They can't keep an eye on every single line every second of the day. So sometimes they slip up. Sometimes there's a line movement, an injury, and one sports book is asleep at the wheel and they screw up leading to a big arbitrage opportunity. So essentially, as an arbitrage better, you're guaranteeing yourself a profit. You're not taking an opinion on the outcome of the game. You're guaranteeing yourself a profit based on market inefficiencies, massive differences in sportsbook odds. And this is a very effective strategy for making money sports betting. And it's actually how I made my first $40,000 betting on sports because I loved it because it was very low risk. So I know it sounds literally crazy that you can make risk-free money sports betting, but it's true. And if you don't believe me, you can do your own research. You'll see there are tons of other videos and also internet posts about how people make risk-free money sports betting. And you have to remember, there's always sports going on. Right, If it's 2 a.m., 2 in the morning, on a Saturday, there's probably some soccer league, some cricket match, some tennis match that is going on. So the sports books really have their hands full trying to manage all these different lines and they can't keep everything in check perfectly. So you'll see here that the Odds Jam sports betting software has an arbitrage tab. So basically you just hit the refresh button, select the sports books you use, and this is going to show you all the arbitrage opportunities for the books you use. So you can see here you can make a risk-free profit of $11.95 
on this specific arbitrage bet. So arbitrage or matched betting is just one mathematical betting strategy that you can use to make money sports betting. There are other strategies such as middle betting and positive EV betting, which we have other videos about. So there are a variety of ways once you understand the math behind sports books, behind their odds, to consistently make profits off of the bookmakers month after month. So this video was meant as an introduction to mathematical sports betting strategies that have worked for me and made me money that you may be interested in. But again, we're just scratching the surface. There's other things you need to consider like, okay, what if the odds change? What if as you're trying to place an arbitrage bet, a sports book notices they're out of line with the market and they change their odds? What do you do? So there's other things you should do your own research. I have tons of other YouTube videos breaking down profitable sports betting strategies that I recommend you look into. And then again, inevitably, some of these sports books are gonna cut you off. They're gonna ban you, and that's just kind of part of the game. It doesn't mean you can't make a thousand, ten thousand, a hundred thousand dollars off a sports book before they start to cut down your betting limits. So enjoy it while it lasts and go make some money off the sports books.